thank you so much, Boaz and, and Sharon and the Hertzfeld uh, family. And, uh, and it's also great to be here with, um, with Sandra Nautical from the uh, uh, Salvation Army. And in this beautiful, beautiful uh, Victoria Market location, Firstly, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet, uh, the Wurundjeri Willem people, and pay my respects to their elders past and present. And what a fabulous location uh, to celebrate 70 years of Creswick Willem Mills. And when you, please, if you haven't seen the, uh, the, the decade by decade panel of this fantastic family business, um, that is behind me, um, it really tells a brilliant story. And I think uh, that is one of the beautiful things of a family-run business like uh, Creswick Woolen Mills. But it's like so many of our really successful businesses, uh, particularly in regional Victoria, um, whether it's in transport, whether it's in textiles, there are some really fantastic families. And I think that then becomes, I mean, it's the strength of their business, but, but it's also part of why their story is so intriguing and so magnificent. And I think when you look at 1947, and uh, so your great-grandfather, 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 uh, Paul Rizzoi, and uh, coming by Shanghai, and I was saying to Boaz before that uh, one of my, the small business minister actually, an innovation minister, Philip Dalidarkas, his grandmother um, came uh, to Europe via Shanghai as well. And um, if you haven't read those stories of the Jewish diaspora that came via Shanghai, um, they are a rollicking yarn in themselves. And we're so glad that we were able to have your family here. Uh, and to start this magnificent business. 1957, classic billabong picnic rug is, in, is invented. Um, I have, I come from a very large family um, from the Western District of Victoria actually, and who are wool growers. And I don't think there's any part of our family uh, that does not have a, picnic, a, a billabong picnic rug. And um, I grew up in, you know, Aussie rules football and you park your car at the, at the fence of the uh, of the football oval and you have your tartan rug and your thermos and invariably it was a billabong creswick uh creswick uh, uh rug tartan rug and uh, as boas reminded me before too where i grew up i grew up in uh, the city of warrnambool um, but both my parents uh, families uh, were wool growers and in Warrnambool there was a woolen mill there as well and sadly it is no longer. So, um, you know, it was great sadness when those workers lost their jobs and that part of, uh, of that industry left town. So, um, you know, it's a real heartfelt thing for me to see that Creswick has, has continued uh, converting our beautiful, our beautiful wool and then moving into our packers. Uh, we also saw in the, in the um, I, I was uh, amazed to see uh, the connection to uh, Olympic Games, uh, Melbourne's Olympic Games in 56. And then when you come right through, through the birth of the next generation of this family, and you know, curtains for Sydney Opera House. The connections to these events and iconic uh, symbols of, of Australian tourism and the spinning of, uh, of alpaca yarn, the innovation that this company has gone through, the connection to a great fashion house and department store with David Jones, and, uh, and then moving on to actually, oh, and the other connection for me is um, these blankets have protected me. Um, I was a CFA volunteer for 13 years, and uh, I was on active duty on Black Saturday, and so I and many of my colleagues um, had the benefit of knowing that we had the safety of the fire blankets that had been developed. And yeah, very, and they're, they're amazing. And they're actually, they protect you from fire, but what people don't understand often on the fire ground, particularly in a campaign fire, and I've been on, on strike teams where you fight fires at night and you're really trying to dampen things down actually can be really freezing. So these blankets, they're protective, but they also um, keep us warm, especially when you're on the back of those old style trucks um, that don't have uh, the covered in um, uh, 
tankers. So thank you from <laughs> from from me and many of my uh, my colleagues who have protected us um, with those with those blankets. And then we see uh, in in this century that uh, Creswick has now become a, a tourism icon, and that's why not only are we here today to celebrate 70 years and wish um, this fabulous family-run business happy birthday, um, but we're going to unveil the plans of what they're going to do next. And, and there's a good reason why Ian from VTIC and others from the tourism sector are here, because not only are we talking about a great fibre business um, that is known worldwide, they're attracting visitors, people that want to go and see how they do this, and the interpretive centre. And then that great connection um, it's like closing the circle um, of this family that came uh, to Australia from Europe via Shanghai that now they're having lots and lots of visitors um, from China, which is of course a huge market um, for our tourism and really crucial to uh, to, uh, to the development. And given I'm Parliamentary Secretary for Tourism and Regional Events, one of the, the things that I really want to drive is making sure that the visitors that come to Melbourne want to go out to our region, and not only because it's so fabulous and there's so many things to see, um, whether it's in the, in the natural environment, whether it's food and wine, whether it's great textiles, but it's that experience and, and the stories. And so having a great interpretive centre that you've already been received awards in tourism, um, bronze medal for cultural tourism, and now gold medal uh, in the RSCB Tourism Awards last year. So you sort of think, how how far can the Hertzfeld family, you know, where can they stop? And I see, we see the next generation here, and it's wonderful. I'm sure your school won't mind that you're not here, uh, because you need, uh, we, we want you, those of us who love Creswick Woolen Mills, we want you to be Im immersed in this business um, so that you'll continue and hopefully you're learning Chinese and um, and you'll be able to work with the, um, with the visitor centre. And I'm really pleased to be here representing my parliamentary colleague and friend, Jala Pulford, uh, who's the Minister for Regional Development, but she also uh, represents Western, uh, Western Victoria in the Upper House. And I know that she's very, very proud of this business and she actually has a beautiful dress of, of, of a tartan that was uh, woven at Creswick and I've been to the races with her quite a few times and so whenever she wears it, people always comment. So she's very proud of the business. She's proud to wear um, uh, something from, from your business and, and I know that she was delighted that uh, through a proper process, not just because she loves your business, uh, through our regional tourism uh, a fund, uh, infrastructure fund, uh, she approved $500,000 dollars uh, to go towards um, the next stage of, uh, of the Creswick Mill and Mill business. So I'm delighted to be here and to see the next step and to wish you all happy birthday. Uh, thank you very much Creswick for what you've done in the last seven years and what you're going to do into this century and thank you for the opportunity to having me here today.